Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Snake Mountain. When I was showing off the uh, demon head feature there, I uh, accidentally shut the video off. But now we will go to the other side. And if you're wondering what these boxes are, that's my uh, Masters of the Universe Classics collection. Go to this side, and we'll just check out the the interior. It's going to be a little dark, but we're inside the mountain, so we have the moat that folds down. You have a couple pegs here to put the the monsters in, like that. We have the bone throne, and a weapons rack. We have the wolf's head that swivels. And we have this here. And actually this can come off here. It's very difficult to do this kind of stuff with one hand. It doesn't have the net, but this does, supposedly, plug into here, which is very hard to do with one hand. It's actually a tighter fit than the oh, I kind of got it jammed there we go oh I accidentally hit the button there okay I yelled the way in so we can do this give the full effect here well it it definitely works. Oh, that's what that rock's for. That comes in pretty handy. It kind of is bound there. Let me see something quick. What are we hitting on? There. I didn't have it all the way in. So bring that back up. So, it's still a little crooked, I think. <laughs> there it goes. You gotta use two hands to make sure that this is in and it's not twisted wrong. But that is that. Cool little uh, feature there. I like that a lot better than the, the original's... Uh, net. It would have been cool if they would have included the net though with it. I think that would have been neat. But there we have it. We got our spider hanging out there in the corner. We got our little monsters down there. I do like the fact that they actually molded these. And I've seen people on other YouTube channels. They You can put pop the torsos and everything off a figure and make it look like they're inside the the whatever that is or their head and you can pop their head off I think it fits the same way I've seen them do the torsos so it looks like they they're sunk into the liquid but neat feature so that is the masters of the universe origins snake mountain playset really cool really cool And it does have a ladder. I didn't put the ladder in, but that goes there. So now, what I'm going to do is try to... Let's get Castle Grayskull over here so you can just kind of compare the the size of these play sets. We'll zoom out. Try to back up a little bit. So that's how it compares to the height of Castle Grayskull. And I got Castle Grey Skull before I started my YouTube channel, so we'll give you a tour of the inside of that. It's got uh, nice wooden. I I do like the wood that they did for the. Oh, I snuck the ladder back in there. I had to fold it up, and then I put the weapons rack on the elevator, 
and the training thing is right there. But I had to put the decals on everything that you see here. And then this was a, I like the cloth flags that came with it. Them used to be stickers back in the day. And then the computer instead of cardboard, it's an actual molded piece, which is awesome. But pretty much like the vintage one. And it's got the feature. Let's fly out here over the castle. Come back down. It's got the jaw, jaw bridge just like the original one. Stick the power sword in there and slide that over and then it'll come open. Which is neat. But the, that's it. I had to do a follow up vi video because the other one ended up abruptly. But that is Snake Mountain and Castle Grayskull. But you got to see how Snake Mountain went together. And now I wanted to get this one done because something very exciting came yesterday for me and we need to do an unboxing video of that because it is uh, I was one of the kids back in the uh, day that was lucky enough to have the playset and uh, we'll do that unboxing in a future video I'd like to thank everyone for watching and we'll see you guys next time